After the release of Into the Pandemonium in 1987, Celtic Frost was dissolved. However, six months later, Tom G. Warrior decided to contact former drummer Stephen Priestley and hire bassist Kurt Victor Bryant and guitarist Oliver Amberg to reform the band. What followed was one of the most controversial, abrupt, and unexpected style changes in metal history. The result of that reunion was the infamous 1988 album Cold Lake, entirely inclined toward a more traditional heavy metal sound and with a 100% glam image like that of other popular bands of the moment. Although Cold Lake gained some popularity in the United States, it was hated from the start by critics and traditional fans of the group, who found it almost unthinkable that a band like Celtic Frost would sell out in such a way. Currently, the album has some defenders arguing that it has some well-crafted heavy sound songs, 